Alright, for today's project we're going to be using the LEGO DAC to control lab to control a uh, train, LEGO train layout with eight switches. Uh, I'm using the original software for the LEGO control lab and a Windows 98 virtual machine. And each switch is, is color coordinated with the bricks I use for the, um, for the switcher. And they are laid out in the same pattern, uh, so it makes it very easy to use. Um, so now we're sending the smaller train through the balloon loop to change direction. And we're going to flip these switches back after I move a little bit. And uh, to control the trains, I'm just using the powered up um, controller um, controlling both trains. So now I'm just flip both switches to switch to the inner loop. And I'll flip them back. And with these switches, Really, there I would only have to switch one, and uh, the one on the inside it wouldn't really matter. They'd be able to, to go through, but um, just for the sake of accuracy or, or realism, I don't know. I always flip both. <laughs> uh, so the big train's struggling a little bit because uh, there was some cat hair that had built up on the wheels, so that's the reason for you may have heard that noise. And now it's running on the outer loop. This has been a lot of fun for me. I'm just now getting acquainted with the Control Lab software for the first time. I had the Control Lab interface uh, for many years now, and I've used a couple of uh, small programs that can just kind of control motors. Um, but the original software was excellent. I mean, I didn't know how much you could do with it. Um, you can do graphs and charts, uh, reading sensor data, and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to have a lot more videos uh, pertaining to that. Um, and even this project, I I want to control the trains from the control lab, which would be um, probably using pie bricks for the, uh, for the train receivers. And then um, what I could do is where you've got two switches for the inner and outer loops to so switch back and forth. Um, I could use one output for two motors and tie them together and then that would free up two more outputs and then those could be used to control maybe a motor to hit a sensor and then on another uh, pipe bricks powered up receiver. So I mean I, I guess it's possible and then I could have up to four light sensors to uh, try to see where the trains are at. But um, at this point, I'm, I'm getting a, a couch soon. Uh, this took up the entire living room to set this up, so I, I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'll ever get that far with it. But um, nevertheless, it was a lot of fun, so I just wanted to share it with everybody. So thanks for watching. You can subscribe. There's gonna be more of this kind of stuff going on. I'm really going into the official sets that use the control lab soon. I'm just waiting on more bricks and more things to come in the mail. Uh, here you can see how the switches are configured. They just say TTO motor A, that's talk to motor A, and then you set the direction left or right and turn them on for 10, which uh, it, I guess this deca seconds or deca seconds, it uh, works out to a second. So, all right, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.